Huge crowds for Super Bowl 55 will mean millions of dollars spent here in Tampa. The NFL and the Super Bowl committee here want to make sure diverse business owners are getting in on the action. That's right, and Mayor Jane Castor and NFL legend Derek Brooks were some of the big names calling on minority business owners and others to take advantage of the Business Connect program. ABC Action News reporter Darren Patello joins us now live outside Raymond James Stadium to walk us through that program. Darren? Yeah, Wendy, obviously Super Bowl is going to be big. There's going to be so many vendors involved, food, beverage, merchandise. And the whole point of this program is to get business owners of diverse backgrounds involved. Small businesses are the backbone of our community and, and their success is our success. Mayor Jane Castor joined NFL Hall of Famer Derek Brooks and others today at Raymond James Stadium to unveil the Business Connect initiative. Business owners who are minorities, women, disabled veterans, or members of the LGBTQ community were invited to apply. If selected, they would get contracts related to the game and get mentorship and networking opportunities. That's where Tampa is going to distinguish itself from all the previous 54 Super Bowls. That we're going to have a lasting impact well beyond this Super Bowl. And that's what I get excited about. Carolyn Lawson, head of CCS Marketing in Tampa, says she plans to compete for a spot in the program to help create merchandise for visitors. It could include shirts, uh, pins, signs. And Lawson says she looks forward to seeing how everything plays out before and after the game. Letting people see the quality of work that a minority business can do. And of course, we know we have to be competitive. And for more information, go to our website, abcactionnews.com. We'll have details under this story. Live tonight in Tampa, Darren Botello, ABC Action News.